This podcast is brought to you by Invalid Fat Bastards. <laughs> Invalid Fat Bastards. Get your next paycheck on Thursday morn. Oh, you even know the date. Dad told me once about the date because he said that's why Kmart opens early on that day. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it does open 8 a.m. on a on a Thursday, and it's also um, catalog day. Oh really? Yeah. Anyway, um, just Dad told tells me these things. I remember. It's just I have a strange memory for some things. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mike. So what is this? <laughs> this is as yet undecided, with your conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie, episode twenty one. Yes, 21. This has finally reached its majority. Majority? Maturity? Majority. (laughs) Why majority? Majority is... That is the age in which you legally become an adult. Okay. Yeah. Legally. Yeah. Legally. So in some some cases it's 18. In New Zealand it's 18. In others it's 21. Yes. Often it's tied to when you can actually start having consensual sex. Yes. Yes. So in Southern California I believe it's 21. Yeah. But don't quote me on this. I might need to do a psychic corrections. Yeah, yeah. Most American states have the legal age at 21. Oh, okay. So I might, may or may not be correct. Yeah. Because of the... That's why the whole 21st birthday celebration was generally in existence. Yes. Especially coming with the key and all. Yes. Yeah. Um, firstly, we have a lot to, lot to discuss about our uh, week so far. Firstly, one woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Oh, I watched that. Yes. It does deserve all its good reviews. It does. It does. Okay. Um, it's genuinely awesome. Generally? Genuinely. Did you did you feel like um, kicking someone's behind afterwards? No, no, no. But that did feel like crashing down a brick wall. Crashing down a brick wall made out of marshmallows. No, an actual brick wall made made out of bricks and mortar. Mortar. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what else did you get up to this week? Uh, let's see. I got my results back. Yes. The law wasn't too good. Business was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've applied for reconsideration for one paper because it was one point off a B a B minus grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully, I can get that extra point. Yes. And how about you, Mike? Oh, it's it's been okay ever since. Well, I, w- I wouldn't say okay. It's been absolutely horrible. Um, like ha- ha- having the exam and then getting getting some results back and trying to figure out all the paperwork towards that and all of the um, precautions that need to be done, so so yeah. we go through a smooth process. And you might repeat your repeat your last year next year. Yeah, yeah. Because well, of the billion and one health problems you had over. Yay! The, yeah. Ten to the ninth. Yes. Yeah. Unless, well, in European countries, it's ten to the twelfth. Yeah. Yes. It, um, because billion basically means two millions. So in their eyes, it's basically two millions, as in, as in six plus six zeros. Yes, there is a good episode on um, number file about that association between American and British terminologies. So, no, European. No, European, but where's my phone? You truly are blind, Mike. Yes. The phone was right beside you. Yay! Mute. Yeah. Didn't stop the beeping. Yes. (laughs) Stop the beep. So that's so that's why Mike is going to apply for reconsideration because he really is genuinely disabled. Yeah. That's the point he's going to get the invalid's benefit, more than likely. Yeah, because really, how hard it is to get money out of the national government. If you can, you literally are screwed. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way you can get money out of the government these days. If you're literally screwed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's um, completely unfortunate, but um, always look for that silver lining. Yes. yes. <laughs> now you can genuinely say you're disabled, and you could probably use the invalid's car park now. Ha <laughs> ha I've got a funny story about that. Oh, um, continue, yes. Okay. Um, my grandfather, who died 
about oh seven, eight years ago. I'm uh, not, uh, before we continue, is that the grandfather that's left the families um, like 50 packets of medication? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's the other grandfather. It's okay. the other grandfather. Um, yeah. That was one grandfather's legacy. You were talking about the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The other one's legacy. Oh. You need to, you need to tell the other story about the other grandfather, but <laughs> okay. Continue with this one. Um. Then <laughs> what 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 happened was you, you know everything was said and done, buried, whatever, and then they decided, oh well, okay, take take a memento home with you. My sister, being the enterprising person that she was, took the handicap pass. The orange thingy. The orange thingy. And it was it didn't expire for a few years. So she used the handicap parking. Oh really? Yeah. How old was she? Uh twenty three. Did she have kids then? No. Okay. Oh, she had kids rather late. Oh no 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 it was, it was more like nineteen when it happened. It's more nineteen. Oh right. Yeah. I actually thought that was actually quite funny. Nah, that's very clever of her. Yeah. You could sell them. Sell those in the lift car park passes. Mm. But you it's illegal, it... but yeah. they do have a black market value. Black market value. Hey, do you know what's the black market value of a New Zealand passport? How much? $20,000. Yeah, or a marriage. Which is way more. Yeah, black yeah. market marriage. Black market marriage. It's, it's a bit more because you have to, you know, act like a couple, which means you have to, you know... Do couple things. couple yeah. things. And that could be expensive. Yes. So it's probably cheaper to get a $20,000 passport. Well, uh, well, th- well, that is probably the best pun I've heard all week. What? A couple things. A couple things. You know, a couple of couple things, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the and the other story results to the other grandfather that uh, passed away three years ago as well. Man, I'm talking about death today. Yay! Yay. Um, um, I'm going to talk about something else afterwards. Yeah. Um, firstly, I hope that my grandmother's surgery went well. Um, the, and what happened was that just before he passed, he had to go into the rest home slash hospice, right? And he left all of his medication at the house. And we are talking altars here. Um, like 500... Um, pills per altar. Um, and he had six of them. 3,000 pills. Mm, yeah. So when he did pass and we all said our goodbyes, the grandmother said that there's a lot of pills here. Take one home with you. So mum did. And and trust me, they went to town for a few months yet. <laughs> <laughs> your family, your grandfather's legacy. Pills. Pills and concrete. Concrete? Yeah. What? Concrete what? He was a supervisor for Ready Mix. Oh, kidding. Back in the day. So, you know the chimneys in Huntley? Yeah, kind of. He was the supervisor who had contracted to do the chimneys at the power station. Nice. Okay, so talking about getting one step away from death... Can you imagine that all your friends are wasted? Oh, no, no, you just need to remember, don't you? Yes. Remember the times when your friends were wasted? <laughs> yes. Even worse than me, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, absolutely off the floor, eating dirt, biting the dust. Yes. Hey, your eyes are opening. I thought the Botox was supposed to stop that. Well, well because that the Botox was supposed to last three months... And I did have the injection on April 10th. Yes. So it is slowly starting to bear off. I see. Yes. It's, you're, opening, you're opening your eye now, more yes. often. I'm noticing that. Anyway, your friends are plastered. Yes. And you're slightly less plastered, as in you're semi-functional. Now, 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 for the audience. Yeah. What do you mean by plastered? On the ground, uh, can't do anything. Comatose. Now, 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 because people would take the little term of plastered, which is um, being in a body cast. <laughs> but we are talking about intoxication here. They're they're, com- they're comatose. Yes. And you're only semi comatose. Yes. Uh, what do you do then? What's the etiquette? What's the party etiquette surrounding 
the care of your wasted friends. Now, now, this can go either two ways. You can either go the dialogical route, or you can go through the utilitarian route. Which route would you... Which route? I mean, what do you mean by the route? Um, The dialogical route is... Screw him. He can cope on his own. Ah, oh, yes. And this, yeah, basically, if he passes out on the floor, he'll be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> if he passes out in a bush, he sleeps in the bush. Okay. Or you can go the utilitarian route, which would be to take care of him. Yes. Yes. Either with um, a bucket, an empty bucket, some sort of high calorie sweet liquid. Say like your Powerades. Yes. Um, which you have to hydrate yourself. And then also a very high energy um, spongy um, food. Like sponge? Like, like a sponge or a piece of bread... Something that can help absorb and help aid the liver in recovery a lot faster. Chuckle. Not like take for instance, every time I used to go to work after I was post inebriated, mm-hmm. I would go to the dairy, grab a pie and a power rain and off I went. Ah oh, yes. That was always my way. Oh, okay. And um do you I thought there would be a little bit more care than that, so such as uh, making sure they're li- lying in the right position, maybe carting them off to a bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carting, them, carting them off to a bed, a, a nice a nice warm bed would, would be great, But the um, or, or a couch. Yes, a couch. A couch would suffice. Wrapping them up in carpet? Yes. Yes, yeah, we're wrapping them up in a, in a bit of carpet. Um, Driving them home, or or getting the oubler. Yeah, so I was just wondering, um, has anyone ever woke, woken up after party at home and it's like wondering how on earth they managed to got, get back? I have been told of experiences when that has happened. Yes, it has not happened to me personally, but I know it's just with a completely blacked out and realised. How do I get home? Who's this? Guardian angel, I should think. Yeah, who is the guardian angel? Hmm. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of infamous experiences where me being me, being the utilitarian that I am, taking care of people, even have to change the sheets, which still annoys me, but it's okay. Hmm, nice. Yes. When someone asks you for help, what do you do? Do you say no, or do you help them? I help them. Yeah. All my friends are wasted. Do you know the song? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hey, do you mind putting on the Google Docs? I forgot what we were supposed to talk about today. That's like the only thing I remembered. Do you have, do you have anything you want to talk about, Mike? Hmm. Let me get the you do the, the doc up first. Drive. It's the other side of twenty first week. Yep. All right. <laughs> Yeah, do you have anything you want to talk about that you haven't really thought about, have you? Now, um, there, there, there's a few things that I want to talk about. Yes. Um, do you think, so are you happy about Emirates Team Auckland? Of course. I'm, I'm, always, I'm very happy for them. Emirates Team Jaffa, by the way. It's Emirates Team <laughs> Jaffa. Now, now, another thing that, you know, that caught my eye was the amount of kids 
They were out on the parade. Oh, why not? There, there, there were kids out on the parade. So? I was thinking of this logistically. Yes. Um, firstly, the majority of the kids would have been from a high decile school, would that be correct? Yes. What have what what about the low decile kids? Probably too far away, but Yeah. No one think thought about busting them in. Or maybe they watched it from T V. Mm. Yeah. Um Because of that the kids would have had to have the day off because of all the paperwork required in order to get the permission slips and all that would have been too hard. So they would have said, we're going to have a teacher's only day. Oh, yeah. Right? Right. And because of school holidays finishing the the following day, does that mean they have two teacher's only days and the kids have an extended break? Well, I suspect they only have one teacher's own day and they just treat the other one as a normal day. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm at, I'm at university, so... Yeah. Um, and I wasn't born... No, no, I wasn't around at school the last time they had a Merrick's Cup win, so... Um, and the other point I want to bring about is extended lunch breaks at the people's place of employment. Yeah? That... You, you, you know, you, you're thinking about 30,000 people. The par- yes, we're talking about the parade, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah 40,000 people were out. Um, more than likely that a lot of people would have been having extended lunch breaks and therefore would have been a decrease in productivity. Yes. I'm, d- I'm just pointing that out. Yes, what's, yeah. okay, so with a decreased pro- productivity, we, we are getting at. Well, yeah, well, what I'm getting at is that initially there has been a cost of wearing, of winning the America's Cup. Yes. Yeah. And you're saying there's an increased cost? Yeah, I'm saying there's an increased cost. Still, I think we spent less on America's Cup overall, including the decreased probabil- uh, productivity than Oracle 10 USA. Yes. Yeah. And, and then because of um, the redevelopment that has happened post 1999 or 98 yes the infrastructure that needs to be in place for the other boats yes um how was the Auckland City Council going to handle that Good question. They're probably not. Yeah, they're probably not. Because they say that they already have their money, too much money tied up in other things, such as the city rail link, which is actually rather sens- which I thought was rather sensible because at least they're admitting they don't have all the money in the world, yes. which is actually quite nice. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice acknowledging when it's kind of, you know, re- reassuring to know that a government actually knows their limits. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but. The businesses around the viaduct certainly would love to host America's Cup because, well, the amount of tourists that will be coming in. Yes, exactly. So um, this will be quite interesting because this might be the first ever privatised event. Yes. Yeah. But good luck to them. And oh, what will be the difference between a privatised event and a public event then? You know, one that's hosted by Auckland City Council as opposed to one hosted by all the pubs and hotels in the area. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think there would have been much difference, to be honest. Um, Yes. Well, the access will still be there because, well, if they restrict access, it just means less customers. Yes. But I would think in the back end that they would... uh, What is it called? What's the term for inflating prices? Inflation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Placing it, a premium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, premium. yeah, yeah, that's a better term. Placing a premium on tourists and people that want to pay to be in that area. So you th- so things like Airbnb might increase by 100%. Beers might go up to $16 per pint. Yeah. To make up the shortfall. Oh, yes. But I would think 
that there will be a ripple effect of uh, uh, across other Auckland bars. Yes, well, because um, it's too expensive to go down to the viaduct, let's go down to the local pub to see see the racing on TV. Yep, so instead of paying $60, they'll pay, like, 12 Yeah. Okay, so the when the America's Cup happens in New Zealand, it'll be a great time to see what all the p- posh kids do. Because yeah. um, the demographics for your average boat race is on the upper echelons of society. Yes. It is a massively expensive sport. I mean, it's a complete miracle that America, that's Team New Zealand only won on less than 100,000, on 100 million. Yes. I mean, you, Oracle Team USA last time spent about 400 million. Yes. And we still don't know how much they spent this time, but it'll be a similar amount, won't it? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and then that brings up an, another argument. Um... What do you think about having having events with a pu- with an economic cost, but it improves on other instances? Like take for instance the art gallery, yes, and and, and other areas of um, culture and heritage that may not signify a um, may not be profitable economically, mm. but socially and culturally. In order to have economic prosperity, you also need to have social and cultural prosperity as well. Yes. And part of the reason why Auckland could be so successful is because they do have a successful art gallery, you know? Yeah. So it might actually be beneficial in the long term, economically. So that's why you have to be so careful when you remove things and stop funding things because they could actually provide less money in the long run. You get what I mean? Yeah, I I, I, I get what you mean, but... um... You know, having those sorts of thoughts, yeah, sort of come through my mind once every week, once every week. Well, yeah, it's a bit like having the royal family in England. There, it's actually cheaper to have a royal family than not to. Yes. Yeah, because it brings lots of tourism. Plus, it's actually this interesting um, thing about how about their land and things like that. So, for example, did you know that the royal family owns heaps and heaps of land, but they don't get any profits from it? Because of a deal made by King George the Third for some more for more money. Yes. So what happens is that um, the royal fam- the royal family they technically own the land, but that's how they pay their taxes. The yeah. Yeah. They they still own that land, but all the but all the revenue and profit from the land goes to Parliament, which means that even without the tourism things like that, it's still cheaper to have a royal family. Yes. Because if you ab- abolish the royal family, they're going to take their land and their profits with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I th- that's a very, that's a very funny thing. Uh, so that when, so when people say, "Oh, we don't want the royal family anymore in England," they still have to think about what that would actually mean. Yeah, in I, the I, long term. I think after all of the um, uh, after that deal, I from what I hear that the royal family gets about forty million per year on the land. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a small cut. A, a small cut. Yeah. That's how much land they own. <laughs> like forty million is a small cut. Yes. Yeah. So you have so that's a, don't you think that's interesting how people if they say oh we want to cut down these and this and this cost but as it turns out cutting down those costs will actually be more expensive in the long term. Yes. Yeah. Because like like we we all think that any sort of fixed item have has some sort of depreciation value added uh, with it. Yeah, that's another interest. Here's another interesting thought. You, you see the super expensive eye creams you get, eye eye liquids. Yeah. What if they're actually worth more than what you paid for them? So, for example, you pay sixteen dollars for them, but you get end up doing nineteen because of that. You can end up doing nineteen dollars worth of work. Yeah. And if you use any other eye creams, so for example, a ten dollar eye cream could only give you back nine dollars because of the pain. <laughs> Ooh, now this is completely subjective, isn't it? Yes. And it's purely based on. No, not just. No, it doesn't necessarily have to be subjective. We can do it, look at it objectively. For example, what I just said. So with a sixteen dollar cream, this was a sixty dollar eye drop. So you can do nineteen dollars worth of work, or with a ten dollar eye drop, you can only do nine dollars worth of work. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, where 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 do you draw the line? Hmm. Where do you draw the line? And that's the most important part. But and, and and I know where you're going with this. Yes. 
because because you, you have mentioned this numerous amount of times. Which is? In regards to paying initially for very expensive items. Yes. So you can get more output over the long run. Yes. Take for instance with the first time that you brought this up was your phone. Yeah. And you were saying that it was a worthwhile investment over the long haul. Over the long haul, yes. Rather than me having to spend as little as possible. And because I think that you use it as efficiently as you can. Um, so you get as most out of that money as possible. Even though, y- y- you know, people may buy items, but they have no awareness of how to use it efficiently. Yes. So, like, like take, for instance, a person wanting to buy a 4K television. Unless you don't... Ha- unless you have... A PlayStation Pro at the moment. Or Blu-ray, just a normal Blu-ray. Or, or normal Blu-ray. There's no reason for it. No. I mean, even now we don't actually have 4K content on there. And there's only there's very few 4K videos on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. So. Well, basically, it's only a, basically it's only for gaming, and even then, only the highest of the high gaming specs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Well, that's the part that I was getting at, is that you have to be as efficient as possible with the technology that you have. Yeah. Um, take, for instance... The concept of good enough, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Just it's just good enough, it's fine. Yes. You don't have to get the highest thing. And that's... Uh, and I think that's the Nintendo model. Yeah. That's the, that's the way that they have progressed. That's why they still have 7, 720p um, screens on yes. their... On the Switch. On the Switch, even though most most have actually gone up to one oh eight oh because it's just it's good enough. It's it's an it's detailed enough for you to see what you need to see. Plus also has the advantage of not breaking as often and it's doesn't use as much power. Yeah. Yeah. Because the technology already exists. Yeah. It's and, just good enough. Yeah. Yeah. In in considering what with Moore's law. Yes. Um that you know, that that, that was already tested years ago. And they're, they're just using a tried and true formula. Yes. And it works. Even though for those high-end games that the people like to get the most out of, like, your Call of Duties and all of that sort of stuff. Yes. You do need those high-end items. Or Quantum Break. Yes. And I, I mean, I'm playing Quantum Break on my computer right now. It's a complete miracle. It actually runs. Yeah. And <laughs> It's so dense, that game. And um, there, yeah. there will not be a port for the Switch. No. Because it can't handle the computing power. No, I can't. There are very few games that are like that. They're just so gorgeous and yet so graphically hungry. Yes. Yeah. And was it, um, I hear, with the, uh, with the Xbox One X that there, there will be a patch day one. Yes. Guess how many gigs it's going to be. 40 gigs? No. Less or more? More. 80 gigs? More. Are they... Why is the patch so big? Now, it is 100 gigs. Which is the whole storage space. No, the whole storage space is one terabyte. Why why is it 100 gigs? What did they do wrong? No, no, no. It's not what they did wrong. It's that each game has its own textures yeah and they have not accounted for the huge amount of textures in a given game oh so the 100 gigs is for every sing- is a bit of that 100 gigs is for every single game that's going to be available no for every game texture for every game texture yes and each game has a different texture yes why because of the engine that they use, and because they all don't use the same game engine, they all don't use. Yeah, they use different game engines, which means they have to use different textures. Oh, 
Each game has a different game engine. Why? Because it's easier for them. Yes, I am unlucky. You can cry now if you want. <laughs> That's okay. I've been coping for it for a decade and a half. I'm pretty sure I can cope with that now. Yeah. There, there. There, there. Here, here. And on that offensive note, I think we should end on that podcast. This has been the almost decided podcast. With your conflicting hosts, the abuse of Sophie. And the crying Mike. Yeah, no, right? I think it should be kinder to you. I'm sorry. Uh, you can contact me on the Manus on all social platforms. If you want to be Mike's wife, please contact him as soon as possible. It, um, if you need a child lawyer, you can contact Sophie on Sophie9709. And interesting enough, we can't create a legal contract in regards to that, so I can keep the baby, okay? Keep that in mind. Uh, yep, um, but um, make sure, Sophie, that you make it fair. Yes. And not screw me for uh, child support payments. No. Okay. Cool. Have a nice day. Um, and happy Independence Day to you, American folk. And bye bye, Steam Summer Sale. Bye bye, Steam Summer Sale. Yay! La, la, la. How many people want?